Last Tuesday, after meeting with the National Commission for Security Guarantees, President Santos reprimanded the Ombudsman's office during an announcement about the prevention of social leaders' murders. We've received 42 alerts so far, 34 received a response by this body. We need to improve our early alert system and we need the Ombudsman office to be more rigorous so that the reaction of the security forces can be more effective. The Ombudsman's office has stated that the work of his team is strict and uses the help of communities. The members of the National Commission for Security Guarantees know that the Ombudsman and his office take to the streets. They go into towns, to Trujillo and Dovio. So if they can't attend a meeting, it's because they are visiting communities where they are needed. Prosecutor Fernando Carrillo insisted on listening to communities and strengthening the collective protection with vigils for indigenous campesino and Cimarrona people. We call for an audit session next Monday in Santander of Quilichao. We call all national, departmental and municipal agencies for a meeting with social organizations. What we like is dialogue with all of them to understand their security needs. After years of reports by social organizations, the prosecutor confirms that murders of social leaders were systematic. What looks like blasphemy in the past is now very clear, especially in the case of the land defenders. There are land holders who are murdering leaders for their land. I can tell you, according to the prosecutor's office study, that there is a system in place to commit these murders. The disagreement between the prosecutor's office and the ombudsman's office with the national government are not new when it comes to the protection of social leaders.